Hey, Chad here with ChadCar.net, LearnHoloLens.com. And today I just want to bring you a quick video talking about Unity's versioning. Okay, uh, so Unity used to have normal version numbers like 3, 4, 5. And then they moved to a year version number, starting with 2017. And then now they're having 2018. And uh, they kind of moved from a, you know, a perpetual license to a subscription model. And at the same time, they've now introduced uh, this long-term support, or LTS. And the LTS stream, it's for users who uh, want to continue to develop and ship their games or content and stay on a stable version for an extended period of time, uh, in which case it's usually about two years. And so the LTS version, or the long-term support version, is not going to have any new features, any API changes, or really any improvements. It, it will address crashes, any regressions that might be there, any issues that affect the wider community, such as you know, enterprise support customer issues or you know, different things with the consoles. Uh, any major changes that would prevent a large section of users uh, from actually shipping their game, their experience. And again, this LTS stream is going to be supported for two years. So when you're creating your game, your app, your experience, you could either go the path of long-term support and say, I'm developing for this and I know it's going to be stable for a two-year period. Or you may want to go with the tech stream, and that's what you're seeing in the blue boxes, right? So the green boxes here are showing the LTS versions, uh, while the blue boxes are kind of showing the tech stream. So this is the latest and greatest, right? Um, and depending on where you're at in your development cycle, you may want to pick the tech stream and then move over to, you know, the long-term support stream once you actually deploy your game or your app, your experience. And this is something that uh, Unity kind of announced during GDC. Uh, but I just want to call it out because there's, I, I get some questions around this, and I just want to uh, try to make it uh, clear uh, for folks. And I thought this image from Unity uh, kind of described it well. And so you can kind of see here the blue box on the left, uh, 2017.3. So that was, the, you know, a version of 2017.3. Uh, it was released at the very end of 2017. And now they actually have 2017.4 LTS. So we're in the long-term support stream of 2017 right now. And it's going to last for two years. And so you can actually see it's going to go into uh, 2020, uh, right? Because we actually see the 2018, 28, 2019, and 2020 here. And the LTS is going to go from 2018 for two years into 2020. And when this end of life of that long-term support for 2017 is going to be over, well, that's, that'll be when 2019 long-term support kicks in. And you can get another full two years of support. So if you have something that you're going to keep updated, uh, you, you have a lot of time uh, to either upgrade to 2018 or 2019, you either have, let's say, a year to get to 2018, and then you have like two years there, or you can kind of use your whole two years before you upgrade to 2019 and get another two years, right? So that's the idea with this long-term support. And at the same time, if you want to utilize some of Unity's newer features, uh, then you can jump over to the tech stream and uh, start seeing what the changes are happening here and actually deploy your game app or experience inside of there, uh, knowing that you might want to update it uh, within that year to the long-term support. Okay, so it really is that simple. It's, it's not a big deal. It's kind of like within a year uh, by them having the yearly version numbers here. Uh, you know, you're pretty much trying to get three releases within a year. So about every four months or so, uh, you'll get, release a new version. And they'll have the long-term support uh, usually within the first of the following year, as you can see here. So 2017 long-term support kind of came in the first part of 2018. And, uh, you know, the 2019 long-term support will end up happening in the first, first part of 2020, about the same time that the long-term support ends for 2017. So I just want to kind of clear the air there because, again, I've gotten some questions around this and I thought it might be beneficial uh, for the community at large because, um, you know, people will want to know, hey, what should I be developing the latest stuff in? And the way I look at it is use the tech stream unless you're about ready to ship your game, your app, your experience. And then at that point, uh, you might want to make sure that whatever version you're working on is stable. And if you need to back up to the long-term support, 
Uh, if you're not using any of the new features, you can back that up. Uh, but if you are, uh, then you've probably already worked through any of the issues anyway. And, uh, and then when the long-term support comes out, you just make sure that you're on that version and you're good to go for at least two years. And I hope this was beneficial to you. And before I wrap up, I just want to mention that uh, my learnhollands.com site. Um, make sure if you're not on the waiting list, the notification list, jump on there uh, because I'm going to uh, be having an offer uh, very soon. So you can actually get access to that content. Uh, so make sure you jump over on that notification list if you're interested in uh, mixed reality development, hall lens development in particular. So again, I hope this information was beneficial to you. I hope you have a fantastic week and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.